Congratulations on setting up your new online store. Things are about to get really exciting. One of the first questions you may have is, what happens when somebody places an order on the website? Long story short is, you'll get an email notifying you that an order was placed, and then you sign onto your website, look at the customer information, look at what they ordered, ship it to them, and then mark it as shipped. But I'm sure you want a little more guidance than that. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little more about managing and processing orders in your new WooCommerce online store. When you get a new order on your website, you will receive an email with information about that order. So the first thing I wanna show you here is where those emails are, how you can edit them, and um, how you can check to make sure they're going to the right place. So you're gonna to wanna to go to WooCommerce and then Settings, and then click the Emails tab up on top. And from here, you'll see a list of all the emails that get sent through WooCommerce. The first thing you can do is change the email sender option. So when WooCommerce automatically sends emails to your customers regarding their order, this is the information it's going to use. So you can change this, you can change the from name, you can change the colors, you can make all those updates here. Now up here, you'll see all the specific emails that get sent out. Now, after somebody makes an order, there's a couple emails you could get. Um, you can get a failed order if it doesn't go through. You can get a canceled order if it's canceled. If the payment has to be um, authenticated for some reason, you'll get that email. Um, though usually, if all things go well and the order goes through, you'll get this new order email. So if you click this, you come to this screen where you can uh, manage the email. The, the main thing you want here is to make sure that the recipient email address is your email address, that your email address is right here. So you can make sure that you're getting these emails. Everything else will populate, like the order information will populate in the email. And as always, don't forget to save changes. Now, after you get a new order, you're gonna wanna manage that order. So you're gonna go to WooCommerce orders. So here you'll see a list of all your orders and the statuses of those orders and you can um, search for orders up here you can filter orders over here and you can also do a quick preview of the orders by clicking this little eye icon right here and if you have to make edits to the order you can either click this button here or you can click this um, the order link um, where the order number is and the customer name is right here so there are a couple things you can do from here First of all, on the top right, we see this thing that says order actions, and you can choose an action here. Um, you can email the invoice or order details to the customer. You can resend the new order notification, maybe if it's not going to you, if it's going to your assistant or something. Um, or you can regenerate download permissions, that's if it's a virtual product. Also, if you're doing some sort of um, maybe shipping tracking and you have to mark it as shipped and add in your tracking information. A lot of times if you're using a plugin for that, it's going to be here. Under that, we have a list of order notes. Some of these automatically happen as things change. Um, some of them you can, you can add your own note if you want to add it here. And then you can set if it's a private note or if it's a note to the customer. And then if we move over here um, for the order details, you can see um, information about how it was paid, when the order was done, uh, their billing information, their shipping information. You can change the address here by clicking that little uh, pencil icon and then you can fill this stuff in if you need to adjust that. Uh, you can also change the status here. Now, depending on which payments you have set up and, um, and how you're taking payments on your site, like if you're doing like uh, cash on delivery or if you are accepting payments by check, sometimes you might have a product on hold or pending payment um, if you're waiting for a payment to go through. If for some reason maybe uh, their payment fails, it will show up as failed. Uh, if it's an order that you refunded, it will show up as, um, I mean, you can set it to refunded here. I'm gonna show you in a second how to actually refund the order. Cancel to self-explanatory, and then, you know, if it's completed, it's completed. Often here, again, if you're using like some sort of shipping pro, uh, plugin, it will say something like shipped, um, which could be an, something you're doing in your specific order workflow. 
Now, if you scroll down, see, you're going to see this is refunded here because I was just playing with this order um, before I started recording the video. But if you do have to refund somebody, you can click this refund button right here and you can either refund it manually or you can refund it via Stripe right here through your dashboard. And you can put um, a refunded amount, like if you don't wanna refund the whole thing, you can put a reason for the refund. And you can also choose like if you're, you have your stock managed in WooCommerce, you can uh, click here if you wanna restock the refunded items. And that's it. That's how you manage your orders with WooCommerce. If you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to put them in the comments below. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are creating your own website, make sure to check in the description. I have a link for you for a free uh, nine step website roadmap where it walks you through exactly what you need to do to get your new website live from start to finish. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.